Someone was asking about an action that could help reduce some of this white fringing when they had uh, cutouts that came from a white background. Um, so I made one. I have a few options here. This choke matte one pixel, white edge fix manual, white edge fix auto, and then this one is just part of the other action, so you can just ignore this setup one. The choke mat will do just that. It'll just choke in this edge by one pixel. So if I just press that, you see the edge just went in a little bit. Maybe try it one more time. And sometimes that's all you need is just to choke the edge in just a little bit. You can do it quickly there. Um, I can undo that. And the manual, if I press this, white edge fix manual. It'll look like nothing happened, but it has created a edge fix layer and it's got a mask on it and there's nothing in the mask. So if I paint in with white and just kind of paint over this edge, you'll see that it brings in this color fix to kind of get rid of that white edge. Now at 100%, it might be a little bit strong, so I do recommend you know bringing it down to like 80% or so. But we quickly went from this to this. It will actually also work if I wanted to get rid of some of this edge down here. You can use it to do that as well. Also, let me just give one more example here. So say I have this one, let's try the auto. So the auto will automatically apply it all the way around the edge. Sometimes it's too much like on his finger there, it's darkened the edges a little bit too much. But that is the auto option that kind of automatically tries to apply it around the whole edge. And you could also go in and paint with white to add it, make it more, or paint with black to take it away in areas, whatever you want it to do. But those are your options. I recommend doing the manual option. And don't forget to check out my other plugin, which is great for big heads, so I can quickly take something on alpha like this, use my lightning cut lines, and automatically quickly export the art files that you need for Signs 365 very quickly and easily right here in Photoshop.